everyone, my name is Mikhail Sechen and I'm your podcast host. This is the Priceless Podcast. It is made in partnership with the European Forum of LGBT Christian Groups and it's also part of the Let Us Be Heard series sponsored by HMS. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, you can visit our webpage and of course you can find all the necessary links in the podcast description, not just for the podcast but also connected to my guest today. So let's go to our guest. Today with me I have the big honor to welcome a small look. At the first let me to um, make a definition about the terms in the mm -hmm. sense. Yes. This term comes from the United Nations. It's being used to describe a group of people. They born with the sex characteristics. It's not fit to the typical binary of the male and the female body we born with. We cannot refuse to be in the intersex people. We are not talking about the gender issue. Mm. We are talking about the sex, the biological status. Mm. So we are talking about the sex characteristics, about the genitals, about the um, granules, about uh, our chromosome patterns. Mm. About my story, when I born, the doctor cannot at once to, to find out I'm a boy or a girl mm. because my genitals do not look like a boy or actual do look like a girl. I was the first born baby in my family mm. and I born in a very grassroots um, Chinese family under the Chinese culture. They rarely want the firstborn baby is a boy. They ask the daughter, can my baby be a boy? Mm. So and then the daughter signed the birth certificate to me as a boy. Since um, my eight years old until 13 years old, in the five years, they helped me to modify my genital to make a... They want, they want to make the functional penis mm. because they want me grow up to be a man and can have a wife to have a next generation to continue our um, generations so they try to make a penis in that five years over 20 time genital surgeries they cannot make it better they make it more worse mm. before the surgeries I have one urine outlet Mm. But after that five years, I have free on it. So when I go to the toilet, or when I went to the toilet, this like a stinker head. When I was uh, about 13, free, uh, 13 years old, I refused to go to the hospital again. It made me too suffering and my health status was too damaged. I learned how to be in a man. I performed as a man. And then I got a girlfriend and she, I, I told her all my things, all my, all my stories. She also fell in love with me and then we get married. When I was 36 years old, mm -hmm. in a chance of a medical chat on my body, the doctor found that I had the uterus mm -hmm. and vagina inside my body. Mm -hmm. They didn't well develop. Mm. They keep in my body. Uh, and then about two years later, another daughter told me, not told me, they asked me, hey, small, why you still keep your male part? Mm. Because they think the outer figure is a male genital part, the inner part is the female part. But they think, they, in, in their experience, my type of intercess, if I keep my male part, it may be more easy to get the cancer. Mm. So they ask me, why don't you think about to cut out all your male part mm. to keep your health? Mm. So and then I go back to this cut with my wife. She said, well, you need to do that to keep your health. So when I lost all my male part, the government, they 
just ask me, you need to change your ID to female. So, and then now I hold the female ID and passport. When I was at trial, I didn't have the right to choice to be a boy or a girl. And I didn't have the right to refuse being a boy. I didn't have the right to refuse genital surgeries. And then until later, I didn't have the right to, to refuse the genital surgeries again. And also I cannot refuse to be a woman. I meet so many intersex people. They also experience so much genital surgery since the childhood, mm. like me. It is so dramatic. From United Nations since 2015, um, United Nations, the Human Rights Council, have been identified that kind of um, non-consent genital surgeries is a uh, torture. Mm. I have a, a, a series of diary. Mm. I write the diary every day when I was in hospital. I write down today, they try to do something, and the next day they try to ask me something. Uh, until now, that diary is covered with the dash. I left it to open it again to watch it. And I cannot remember most of the memory in this period. But I need to speak. Yes. Yeah. I need to tell the doctors, the medical system, the parents, and the government. Yeah. Why you still continue to bring your indices baby to the surgeries if they will never succeed? This is a very long journey for me to find out who I am. Maybe I will say what I am. Mm. When I was a child, my parents told me, you are a boy. Mm. But when I went to the toilet, when I see hey, the boy, they are standing up to mm. pee. Mm. But I can't. I, when I went to the toilet to pee, I, the position same as the girls. Mm. So why I am a boy? Mm. I don't know, but they told me, my parents told me, my daughter told me, my teachers told me, you're a boy, you're a boy, you're a boy, you are illness boy, you are illness boy, okay, fine, I am an illness boy. I cannot perform as a boy, so I need to learn. I, I take a look at a boy, how their body language, how mm. they speak. Oh, they speak, oh, fuck you, fuck you. Mm. Oh, I learn it, they fight. Okay, I learn to fight. Try to perform as a boy. When then they told me, and you are not a boy, you are not a man. You are not an illness man. You are intercess when they find that the odor is inside my body. And then I think, oh, I really is not a human. Mm. I'm a monster. Maybe I come from another planet. And then when they cut all my male part, then I got a female ID. Mm. I so worry about do I need to learn again to be in another gender role, mm. to be in a woman. Uh, I think that uh, learn from a man is more easy than learn from a woman. Mm. Because now the woman may be more feminine, maybe more masculine. They feel free to do that. Because mm. the men still have a stereotype. I find out that when I'm being myself, on the eyes of other people, they seem this is a woman. Mm. So this, for me, I'm not being a woman. I just be myself. Yeah. But they agree this is a woman. So now I will say, mm, I'm in the sex mm. in front of the camera. Or, or I will introduce myself to you. Hey, guy, I'm in the sex in here because it is an inclusive group. Yes. But if I go to the um, society, they have been read my story on TV or newspaper, I will introduce myself. Um, I am an intersex woman. If I went to another country, um, they may not know my story. Mm -hmm. I will introduce myself. Hey, I'm a woman. Mm. I'm small. Mm. But I feel a little bit um, sad 
because my original genitals have been damaged. Mm. It is not totally myself now, mm. but I try to love myself. My father do not upset um, from his thinking. He think I he thought I was betrayed for him. After years later, he passed away. Before he passed away, he didn't forgive me. My mom a little bit, a little bit changed. Especially when I told my mom in the world, not just your kid is in the innocent status. They still have so many other family have the innocent baby. They also experienced the same suffering as me in the past. So now she well accept I'm a woman. Yes, she have a daughter. She has an intersex daughter. We find some changing on the world, but not yet enough. We hope to do more. Stop all the genital surgeries is the first very key voice we are asking the government, the medical system, the parents. This is we are in it. We must do it. And the second, we are asking um, about the IT system, the gen, uh, the gender system. If the world light you more inclusive, if they are now have a male M, female F, and then some country now they are now have X for the non-binary, and do they have more mercy to give us an I? But we hope in the very, very future, no gender identity need to show on our ID or passport. Mm. We are just a human. We are in the world. Yes. We hope the education system can teach the children uh, all around the world. We have the men, we have the women, we have the trans people, we have the indecent people. You just get them love and make friends with them from the kindergarten. And the psychologist, social work, counselor is another group. Mm. Maybe when some of the indices people, they meet the difficult, they need the counseling or support, they mm-hmm. go, 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 go to them, ask for the help, they know how to help us. Yes. And so many kind, the medical system, the nurse, yeah. the ambulance, the first aid, they need to know when they meet the patients, it's the indices people, and the police, and the army, and the immigration staff. Yeah. When someone go through, when they catch someone, yeah. can they do something more respective? And the church, this is the responsibility, church to take care of the minority. I, I start my church life since I was 12 years old. But I leave the church when I was 23 years old. I didn't know yet I was in this SP. I am in this as people. But my genital part is different. They know it. Mm. When we grow up, I found that they do not upset me as a normal man. Mm. They, are, they en- encourage. They mm. encourage the sisters in the church don't close to that guy. Mm. And they warn me don't make parlor with women. And now, I'm trying to lobby the church. Please accept. You accept the LGBT people, please accept the indices people too. And stand up to, to stand with us. Some of the church, some of the leaders, they told the parents of the indices, um, they, they tell they tell the parents, your child have that body is because there's this results from the sin. I will say it is totally wrong from the Bible. Our sin have been forgiven from our Christ on the cross. We don't need to do anything again. So we are just a human. We are just getting something variations. We don't need to ask for any forgiving on our body. Yes. In Hong Kong, one of the 
Christian organization. He say to the people, he he direct point to my name, mm. small, is a sinner. And absolutely, I didn't talk anything about church. Yeah. To complain. Yeah. I just stand there. To being to ask the parent protect your children, so I I would try to challenge them. Do you know, the first human Adam, he is in the sense. Yes. <laughs> yes. Before God divide him yes. to be a man and a woman. Yes. Maybe um, you are facing some difficult in your life or in your history, history. But uh, don't give up. Don't give up your own life. Don't do anything to hurt yourself. Trying to love yourself more. You can do that. To the parents, if you got the indecent baby, please love the baby, love your child as they are. They are perfect. They don't need any surgeries. For the other people, um. I will ask all the people you can do a little things for us. Uh, maybe some kind of this. Uh, you don't need to make this、uh, sign for you to use, but if you like to do that, it's very good. Maybe you just make a good sentence to be an announcement to say, "I know what is in the set. I take care in the set." Or I concern in the sense. Why I ask you to do that? Because you are doing an announcement. If in your family system, in your friends group, if some in the sense people hide inside. One day, if they meet some difficult, when they don't know、uh, who can help them, they will remember you have. Make this announcement. Maybe you will save a life before they attempt suicide.、Mm. So, please help us. Jesus and our Godfather, Godmother, love all the human,、mm. include intercess, include all the human being LGBTIQ. So don't worry about who you are, who I am. We include in the love of God. Thank you, dear small Luke. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being my guest, for enlightening us and being so vulnerable. Thank you, dear viewers and listeners, for being with us.、Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram.、Uh, as I said in the beginning, this podcast was made in partnership with the European Forum of LGBT Christian Groups. It is also part of the Let Us Be Heard series,、uh, sponsored by HMS.、Uh, be with us next time, and don't forget to check out the links. See you next time. Thank you, and bye, everyone. Bye, small. Bye.